If you've got kids who don't mind getting down and dirty to explore, play, and create, we have the perfect destination to make that play date dream come true, and there's no cost to enter. Sacramento Adventure Playground's Kevin Smith Fagan is here now with the fun details about this creative playground and all it offers. Hi, Kevin. Hi, great to see you, Aubrey. Thanks for the invitation. Yeah, so the Sacramento so, Adventure Playground, I've been there, but I want you to tell our audience what it's all about. Well, as you saw, it's um, it can be a little bit tough to describe. I mean, it is, uh, it is almost like a little bit of an organized junkyard where unstructured play is encouraged for kids. It's... Uh, on any given afternoon at this free after school drop in program, you will find kids building a fort together or running through a maze or playing with chinchillas because there are live animals like a tortoise <laughs> and hissing cockroaches and the chinchillas or climbing a tree or working on a craft project. Um, the key is when kids go to the adventure playground, it's unstructured and the adult staff is there to support their ideas and to support their creativity, but not to provide answers. It's all about hands-on learning just by the experience of exploration. So why is this type of play important when we talk about child development? You know, um, the, the collection of facts that you know is not as important as your ability to solve problems. And so that is really the core focus of the Adventure Playground is to foster in children problem solving abilities, to promote critical thinking so that they come away with these new skills, but also with a, a sense of competence and a sense of their own power to do things, to accomplish things, um, and to you know push that creativity, to push um, problem solving that's original. And that, uh, you know, we just really believe that that original thinking is the key to success later in life and into making wise decisions. And Kevin, I mentioned to you off camera, so my boys did a week of summer camp at the Adventure Playground. It was based on engineering and robotics and they had tons of fun. They were inspired to do things with cardboard. And I came to pick him up one day. One was high up in a tree. They did say it's a little bit dirty. You do, and we saw in the images there, you, you do get a little down and dirty creating. Oh, oh yeah. It's absolutely um, meant to be an outdoor, hands-on experience. Um, when kids want to build something, you know, like a fort is a popular thing. There are hammers and saws and drills for them to do that. And the adults, um, as I said, are, are there obviously to make sure that it's a safe experience, but not really to give them the blueprints. The point is for the kids to figure it out themselves. And yeah, they do get dirty <laughs> and sweaty and sometimes exhausted, but it's all in the name of uh, that child development and personal growth. Now, is this a unique concept? Are there other adventure playgrounds out and around? Um, there are a few around uh, the United States. It's a more popular concept in Europe, but there's a wonderful one actually in Berkeley. And that was sort of the inspiration for Fairy Tale Town to launch an adventure playground. It's now in its fifth year, this one, and it's in South Sacramento. It's, um, you know, uh, relatively close to the intersection of Fruit Ridge and Franklin Boulevard for families who might be interested in making a visit. Um, but, you know, from McKinley Park, it's only a seven minute drive. So it's really pretty easily accessible for everyone. And as you mentioned, um, it's free to drop in after school Tuesdays to Fridays. And then we're open Saturdays 11 to 4 as well. Yeah, and it is a lot of fun. My boys did really enjoy it. Now, what's going to be next for the Adventure Playground? So once the summer camps conclude, uh, and there have been six summer camp sessions, um, we look ahead, of course, beyond the day-to-day -day operation to the big Dirty Kid Obstacle Race, which is going to be Saturday <laughs> the 9th of October. October and um, it's just what it sounds like it's an obstacle race for kids they're gonna crawl under ropes they're gonna do a tire drag they climb over hay bales and get through the mud pit and there's an incline wall they climb with a rope pull um, as you can see the, the kids are having a great time it is a workout and uh, it is both uh, a big step forward in their wellness but also in their ability to accomplish you know to persevere 
to overcome. Kids get uh, to the finish line exhausted, mm -hmm. but they make it to the finish line and they know that they can do something hard. So uh, it's sort of a multi-pronged positive and we think we can get, you know, maybe 250 kids or more this year because uh, it's super fun. And there are even training sessions in advance oh, yeah. so that kids can get accustomed <laughs> In the run-up. So uh, we want your boys back for the Dirty Kid Obstacle yes. Race where they can get really dirty they, they all over again. They will not be wearing their Sunday's best, though, Kevin. I learned my lesson. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Um, well, they get a T-shirt, which they can promptly muddy up. All right. Thanks so much. Sounds like a lot of fun. We're all going to check that out. And if you want to learn more on all that they offer, you can visit sacadventureplay.org.